Hey y'all, what's up? Hope you guys are all doing well tonight. Welcome back to another edition of K Cards Baseball. Thanks for joining me tonight, and hopefully you all are doing well, wherever you might be out there. Um, tonight will be kind of a unique video. Um, as you can see, I've got some boxes and boxes of cards on my screen here, and this happens to be a part of my PC, my personal collection. So what I thought I'd do tonight, I've got this box of cards right here. I've got a couple of them. This one I've got kind of organized, um, but this one I don't. I don't know how long I've been just throwing cards into here when I go out and buy them at various shows or places that I go or run across. I just buy the cards and when I come home, rather than organize them, I just kind of throw them in this box. So I don't know what cards are in this box, what exactly is going on here with this box. So what I'd like to do is a little bit different on this video. We're kind of going to kind of go through this together and see what kind of cards we can find in here. Um, it's a little bit slow on the break side of things as far as new cards that are coming out and whatnot. So this will be kind of a fun little exercise and see what we got. So um, the next part time you'll see these cards will be on my desk and we'll start going through them and see what we can find. Welcome back guys. Thanks for sticking with me here. Um, as you saw my last little piece, I had that box of cards that I collected over the past, I don't know how long, 15 or 20 years. And they were cards that I just would be at a store and I'd find a pack of cards and I'd buy it and open it up and throw it in that box if I was at a swap meet or a antique store and ran across some cards and picked some up, I would just throw them in that box too. So it was like a catch-all for cards that I would randomly pick up wherever I happened to be out and about. And I haven't gone through it and I haven't looked at those cards in a long time. So I thought it was a good time to finally get it organized and I thought it would be a good way to do it on the channel because it'd be by, like just like opening up a new pack of cards or a new... Uh, um, going through a new box so um, kind of cool um, rather than me actually going through the cards on the channel I thought I would just go through it individually and pick out the cards that I happened to find as I went through it and share that with you guys so you guys didn't have to sit there and wa watch me sort through a bunch of cards and be pretty boring but in the box I did find some really cool cards so I wanted to share that with you um, with the cards that I happened to find. So um, obviously we, I did find a, on top here, I found a Ken Griffey 1989 Fleer card. So Ken Griffey rookie card, that a, was a good way to start it off. Um, looks to be in pretty decent shape actually. So nice card there. I did find a bunch of these um, Skybox limited edition pack, of, it must've been a pack of cards because there was probably 20 or 30 of them. And there are a couple of these um, gold proof cards. And this one of Mike Piazza, which is numbered one of 150. Um, this is from 2004 Fleer Skybox. So um, not so sure on the value of this card. Obviously, Mike Piazza, um, obviously he's a big name. Um, so uh, I think it's a good card, but I might have to check the comps and see if there's any comps out there on this card. But being a number one of 150, that's not a bad deal there. Um, I did find this 64 Strikeout Leaders um, card um, of Sandy Koufax and Don Drysdale on the same card. So a nice card. I, I did look up the comps on this. Um, the most looks like it's pretty common for it to be this far off-centered. This is what, 95, maybe 5%, maybe 100 and zero, but I would say 95, five. Um, but um, it's in pretty decent shape. Otherwise, some corner dings, no creases on the card. So it's a pretty decent card. So I didn't even know I had this card, to be honest with you. And I don't know where I picked it up at, but it is probably my only Sandy Fo Koufax and Don Drysdale card that I have. So pretty excited to find that card. Um, for you football guys out there, I did find a... John Elway rookie card from, I think this is 82 tops. Yeah, 82, no, 84 tops. Yeah, 84 tops. Um, John Elway rookie card from 84 tops. So that is obviously a really nice card. I know I do have the Eric Dickerson too. Um, so, um, yeah, so John Elway rookie. I did find this too, Mariano Rivera 92 Bowman 
card, um, so, which was a surprise to me because I knew I had one. I didn't know I had a second one. <laughs> and the one I have is right here. It's graded. It was one of the first cards I got graded back when uh, Beckett started doing grading. You can see the number on this card. Well, 105, 259. I've got some down at 12,000 in the for Beckett grading. So this is when Beckett first started grading cards. Um, didn't really agree with the grade at the time at eight and a half near mint to mint plus. I thought it was a better condition card. And these two cards look like mirrors of each other. So I would probably put this at eight and a half, nine, maybe even a 10. I don't know. Um, hard to say. I don't know what flaw would be in it, but it's a nice Mariano Rivera card having two rookie cards. So I might actually sell this one. I don't know since I've got this one already graded. Um, and then I found an Ichiro um, rookie card. I think I've got two of them, so I think I have one in my other boxes, but I didn't think that I would find another one. Looks like it's got a little corner ding down there, but an Ichiro rookie card, that's pretty sweet. I didn't find the pools, but I found that one. Uh, a Paul Molitor Leaf Certified um, Relic uh, Fabric of the Game card. So this is, I think, Game Worn. Paul Molitor Jersey card. Congratulations and close watch. Comfort authentic pair of pants, personally worn, personally worn by Paul Molitor during a major league. So yeah, so it is a game-worn piece of pants from Paul Molitor, numbered 16 out of 50. So, and this is from, I think, 2000, no, uh, what is that, 2000, I don't even know what the date is. So that is a pretty cool card to get. Paul Molitor, obviously Hall of Famer. And uh, so that was a nice find. Really like I'm a huge Paul Molitor guy since he's a local kid here in uh, Minneapolis and from St. Paul. So uh, that's a good card. Uh, Roger Clemens, another one of these Leaf Certified Materials card. Um, so Roger Clemens Materials card, and this is Game Worn, I believe, as well. Numbered 80 out of 250. Yep, he did wear it in a, an official baseball game, so um, it has a little pinstripe there. Um, so that is pretty nice. So, um, and then this one I thought was really cool. Um, Nick Swisher, Nick Switch Swisher was a uh, pretty decent player back in the day, but this is a, a by the letter patch card, authentic autograph letter patch. So this is uh, the R out of the Swisher name, and it is signed by him too. So and it's numbered, number what is that number ninety eight out of one seventy. So, um, and then being that autograph, that is pretty dang nice. So, and this is from uh, Upper Deck SP Authentic. So, yeah, that's a really cool card. So, Nick Swisher was a pretty good pit player back in the day for the A's. Definitely not a Hall of Famer, but he was a regular player and a pretty decent player at that. So, um, so I'd call him a semi-star would be the category I put Nick Swisher in. All right, we got, now we run into some autograph cards that I found. Um, this is Rocco Baldelli, the head coach of the Twins. This is a rare form. Uh, I didn't have a chance to really look too much into this card. I just happened to find it earlier. It's number 227 out of 299, and it is a uh, game-worn patch card for Rocco Baldelli. And I don't know what set this is from. It looks like, no, oh, 2004 Clear Skybox. Um, so yeah, cool autograph card from Rocco Baldelli. Baldelli. All right, Juan Pierre game worn jersey card. Another one of these limited edition Skybox cards. A lot of these were a lot of these number twenty eight out of fifty. Just received holds a piece of authentic game worn jersey worn by two thousand three NL stolen base leader Juan Pierre. I didn't know he was a stolen base leader, so that's pretty sweet. So. Um, I don't know what kind of career ended up having. Obviously, this is an older card from 2004 Fleer. So, um, yeah, but it's a cool card. Um, Ivan Ivan Rodriguez uh, rookie card, 92, oh, 89 Bowman rookie card. So, that is a pretty sweet card there. Um, and then we got a Kerry Wood patch card too. A little bit of his uh, pinstripe there uh, from the from the Cubs. Kerry Wood was uh, all the rage. It was um, back in the day. Um, so he was a heck of a pitcher. Didn't last that long. 
Um, so he could, I mean, he could have, I mean, he lit the world on fire when he first came up and started playing. But this is number 35 out of 99. And this is a game worn, game worn uh, jersey card for Carrie Wood. Again, for limited skybox, limited edition skybox from Flair 2004. I must have been into Flair 2004 because they had a lot of them. Uh, and I can, for hockey guys, I ran in 91 92 Ed Bell for a rookie card. So I thought that was kind of cool. We got a nine or a 2001 Bonds. We got a John Smoltz rookie from 89 Upper Deck. We had actually, I found two Jose Canseco rookie cards. This is one of them. And I found another one. It was a little bit dinged up. It was actually in a sleeve with Nolan Ryan and whatnot. Um, Adrian Beltre, Los Angeles Dodgers, Fleer uh, Autographics. Um, so that is a pretty cool card from Fleer 2000. Fleer Skybox 2000. Adrian Beltre uh, autograph card. I didn't see tonight. I think today was a Hall of Fame voting. Um, and I don't know. I didn't see if he got in. I might have to check that out and see if Adrian Beltre got in. That would send this card up quite a bit. So, and uh, worth an extra. There's a 2001 Bonds, another one. Did find this cool Kevin McHale rookie card. So, um, this is from 81 Tops. Kevin McHale rookie card. So, I knew I had this card. It's a pretty sweet card. Has a little less unsold right there. So, that was a pretty cool card there, Kevin McHale. Another Minnesota kid. That's probably why I bought that card um, way back when. Um, Kevin Mulvey, rookie card. I don't know who Kevin Mulvey is. This is a Bowman Chrome. This is his first um, Bowman Chrome first autograph from, I think it's, what is this? What year is this? 2000? Uh, I can't see it right now offhand. Um, but, yeah, I think it, no, 2007. I don't know what I was thinking. Yeah, that's 2007 design. I should have picked that up. Anyway, so uh, an autograph card. It's a refractor autograph. So, Obviously not a regular player, didn't really, I don't know that he really became much. Um, but anyways, Jerome Williams autographed patch card from Bowman Certified Autograph Issue. So, and it's a through patch, so it has the patch on the back, which I thought was kind of a different thing. Um, this is from 2002 Bowman, and this is, uh, this is his um, jersey patch rookie card. So, cool. Bo Jackson, rated rookie from 87 Donruss. That's always a cool card. Bo was, I mean, he was, he was, he was so cool to watch. I remember going to a few games that he, the Royals would play the Twins and hit some just monumental home runs. I mean, it was just a different sound when Bo Jackson would hit a ball. So anyways, um, Peyton Manning, rookie card from 98 Collector's Edge. So that's kind of cool. Peyton Manning rookie. I've got a, quite a few of Peyton Manning rookies card, actually. This is a Kurt Lesconic. Uh, Colorado Rockies again with the Leaf signature card. So there we go with that one. Uh, 92 Stadium Club, Nolan Ryan. Jim Tomei, 92 Bowman, rookie card. Uh, Mickey Mantle, uh, reprint card, a relic. Obviously, I paid 50 cents for it, must have somewhere from 2006 Tops. And what else do we have? Oh, I found this pack of, of a cello pack from uh, 49 cards from 1986 Tops. It has Vince Coleman and Dale Murphy in the front there. Uh, it didn't look like it had anybody special. And Don Baylor on the back. There's a Don Baylor card on the back. So, yeah, I thought that was just kind of cool. I haven't seen a cello pack for a long time. I'll probably just leave this like this. No, no sense in me opening it anytime soon, so uh, I'll just leave that like that. Um, this is kind of a cool card. Garrett Anderson, uh, Home Run Derby jersey card from 2003. Um, and this 2003 top, so this is a Derby Diggs from the All-Star Game. He actually won the Home Run Derby that year, so this is a patch from his winning uh, uniform when he won the Home Run Derby. So, Derby Warren jersey card. Um, so, and he won the home run derby that particular year. So, that is that I thought was pretty cool to get that uh, card. I didn't see any comps for it, actually, on eBay. So, um, it must be fairly rare. It's not numbered or anything. But I thought it was a pretty neat card. Anyways, 
And this co this card was pretty cool. Um, Adam Wainwright autographed rookie card, numbered 181 out of 399. Rookie Authentic Signatures from SP Authentic Rookie Card. So um, to have an autographed Adam Wainwright rookie card, um, was it, I could, I, again, I looked up comps on this card. There wasn't, there wasn't, I couldn't really find any um, from 2006 from, for this uh, SP Authentic. There was some newer ones or some younger ones like 2004 um, autograph card, but I didn't find uh, this exact card. So I don't know what the comp would be on this. I would probably guess 50 bucks, maybe 60 bucks. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments below. And then we got Reggie Jackson, 71. I must have paid 20 bucks for that. Actually, it looks like the card's in pretty decent shape. I've got a few of his, actually, 71 uh, rookies. Or not rookies. He's not obviously a rookie in that 71, but um, 71 cards. Um, this is an Alex Rodriguez classic gold card. So, um, from 1993, classic. So, I thought that was kind of neat. And then last up, I did find a 60, um, 60, uh, 66 Mays card. 1966 William Mays. Actually in pretty decent shape. It looks like it's got some some issues on the top there, but no creasing at all. Pretty decent shape overall. 70-30 um, on centering, I would say. Corner's a little bit dinged up, but really cool finding a 66 Mays card in the pile so that is basically the top of the line that i got um there were some other ones in there but um it was all basically just common stuff but these are the ones that i that i pulled out that i thought were kind of neat that i wanted to share with you guys that i got so if you got any comments about that or have any ideas about that about the any cards in here um i would appreciate anything you guys would let me know on the bottom in the comments down below uh, just to run by again, um, we do have, still got going on the giveaway, um, in a month giveaway for new subscribers to the channel. Just if you're a new subscriber, new to the channel, just put your name in the comments down below and you will be automatically entered in the drawing for the Tops Holiday Box. Um, so yeah, um, so that's coming up. I'm also upcoming on the channel. Um, I'll do a video tomorrow night. I happen to visit a Walmart today. And uh, I did a little um, uh, store, um, in-store video just to show you guys what's on the shelves there at the Walmart that I happened to visit. And I bought a couple boxes of cards while I was there. Um, it's 2023 High Number Heritage. Um, these haven't shown up in Target at all. They just, so I, I figured, well, I might as well go over to Walmart and see if they have that. So I did pick up this Heritage box. So we'll probably open that either tomorrow night or Friday night. We'll open this pack and we'll make that a video available on the K Cards Breaks channel. Um, for the time being, I'll probably put the video on both channels until we get some more subscribers over to the K Card Breaks channels or K Card Breaks channel. Um, but yeah, I'll be posting it on the regular K Cards channel as well. So that is that. And um, I also bought a box. Um, You'll see I bought a box of a hol another holiday mega box. I wanted something to open on Christmas night. Um, and I thought a holiday box was, would be, there was one left on the shelf. So you know my rule about the last box on the shelf rule. So I thought I would pick up this box of holiday. Um, different from the box we're giving away, but I thought I would pick this one up. So we'll probably, we'll open this one definitely on Christmas night. So that'll be the uh, Christmas night video is the Tops Holiday. I might pick up another box uh, this weekend. It'll open maybe on Saturday night or something. Um, so that is primarily what we got going on on the channel. So definitely appreciate you guys joining me tonight. If you like this video and like what we're doing here, um, go ahead and hit the like button down below. And always looking for subscribers. So hit that red subscribe button down below. That would help me out a tremendous amount. And I would appreciate all the subscribers that I get. And we, um, for some, there's some good incentives. I mean, obviously right now we got this giveaway going on. We'll have a, a giveaway going on in January. Don't know what we're going to do. I've been trying to think of some ideas. If you guys have any ideas for giveaways, definitely throw those in the comments down below. Um, we'll take a look at any ideas that you guys happen to come up with and always open to new ideas. And also I wanted to let you guys know that 
if you watched the video the other night of high number cards that I was be make available for auction last night, well, I did run that auction and all the cards sold within 10 minutes. So every lot that I put out there um, that I did the video on sold immediately as soon as I put them up for auction. So um, they are all sold out. So I'm going to run another auction probably either tomorrow night or Friday night, and I'll do an auction preview tomorrow night for sure um, on the channel for whatever I'm going to auction off. It'll probably be the regular um, star cards, um, but we'll see. Maybe the semi-star cards. I'll probably do the semi-stars. Um, We'll run that auction. So, anyways, uh, keep an eye out for that. And that is about all I got. If you guys have any comments and and and, and uh, anything else, just let me don't know but down below. Thanks for joining me tonight, guys. Have a good night, and we will talk to you later.